New Ritual was written by Stormbreath. You can find it on the SCP Wiki in a link in the description below. It is in the Parawatch GOI Story Collection. And it is under a Creative Commons Sharealike Attribution 3.0 license. Played around with a few things recently. Found a new ritual. Good for cleansing and purification. Took a bit of effort, but verified all steps. As follows. Number one. Ritual Celebrant Limited. Can only be performed over the course of a voyage, pilgrimage, or journey, and in certain location. Must be passing through Badlands National Park heading westward. Must travel for 50 miles to Badlands. Have intent to travel at least that much after leaving. Cannot be performed by those who live close to location. Number two. You will need a stick or two of incense, any scent, chalk, and salt. If you can, mix the salt and chalk together. You may want climbing gear. If you aren't the best at freescaling. Keep a change of clothes in the back of your car. Bring along some refuse that you want to get rid of. Number three, keep an eye out for rangers. Unsure if they are in on this, but they will try to stop you either way. Simple car, not flashy. Dress to blend in. Don't stand out. Number four, get a good night's rest the day before. Don't drink or smoke or drop before going out to the site. You want to be sober for the purposes of the ritual. Stone cold sober. Number five, drive into Badlands National Park through the northeast entrance. It costs ten dollars for a seven-day pass. Have this money before you get to the ranger station. Keep calm and don't draw attention to yourself. Number six, park at the third parking area you come across. It will be nearly empty. Park as far to the west as you can. You want to be as far from the entrance as you can here. Number seven, there is a wooden path leading out of the parking lot. Get on it and start walking. After five minutes of that, you will come to the location pictured below, and it will look just like this. Number eight. Mark a chalk circle on the wooden path in a circle around you. It only needs to be a simple barrier, nothing complex. Make sure that it is complete. Line it with salt and burn the incense. Number nine. This is your last chance to turn back. Think about if you really want to do this. There is no turning back from this point. Stop immediately if you aren't absolutely sure you want to do this. Number 10. Light the incense. Waft it around the circle. Let the scent permeate your surroundings for a while. 11. Break the circle. Step off the pathway. You're lost now. Number 12. Scale the edge of the slope, going down the sides. It is easier than it looks. There are many handholds for you to hold on to. Facilis de Sinus Averno. When you reach the bottom, find a spherical rock. If you look behind the rock, you will find a small pool of water. Number 13. Close your eyes. Splash a little bit of water on your forehead. Keep your eyes closed until you hear a pop. Number 14. You can open your eyes now. You won't be in the same canyon. Climb out of this new one. Going up will be much harder than going down. It won't be impossible, though since you aren't actually escaping from anything. Number 15. You'll get to the top in the middle of what looks like Badlands, but it won't be where you descended. Walk forward until you reach a road. It normally takes a single step, even if you can't see the road when you begin. The road will find you. Number 16. The road spans forever in both directions. There's a massive sun, larger than it should be, just over the horizon at the end in one direction. Walk that way. Number 17. Cars will pass you by. Some will try to give you a ride. Don't accept it. This must be done on foot. If you need to end the journey for your safety, you can. They won't hurt you. But you'll never be able to attempt the ritual again. Number 18. After hours of walking, you will come to the city. It should look ruined and dilapidated. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. Most buildings are torn down. This is not a place of life or joy. You may see others in the city. Don't speak to them, and they won't speak to you. Number 19. Walk through the city until you find a church of any kind. It's been different buildings every time I've been there, but it has always felt right. Make of that what you will. Number 20. There will be candles and matches in the forum. Take as many as you need to feel whole again. 21. 
Into the main room. There will be a massive hole in the floor. Don't look at the bottom. Keep your eyes on anything else. 22. Light the candles and place them around the hole. Take out the refuse you brought with you and whisper one sin into each piece. Then put it down next to you. Say a prayer to whatever you believe in at that exact moment. Not in general, but what you feel here and now. 23. The whole is shaped like a god. Release your sins into it. 24. You will black out after this. Don't worry about that. This will be the view when you awaken. 25. You will find yourself in a wall drug store chapel. It will look like the photograph above. In all likelihood, it will be empty. Get up and leave. 26. Buy something in Waldrug. It doesn't matter what. But you need to complete the transaction. Get a free cup of ice water. That's not necessary, but you will be dehydrated. 27. Your car is outside. It has been taken here by the forces that brought you to Waldrug. The keys are still in the ignition. It will not be stolen before you arrive. 28. Travel west, into the setting sun, and do not stop until you get to the end of the road. It is okay to cry. Thank you very much for listening. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who has pledged at $100. And let me tell you, helping me out on Patreon really helps me out. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Thursday. I promise.